Hi guys and gals, welcome to my ranch here in Ojai, California. Today we're going to be looking at the new cable cane that I designed for cold steel. Um, you can see this comes in a pretty nice box. It says Lynn, designed by Lynn Thompson, cable cane. Let's get a close up of that. I get both sides of the box. It's got the shows the, the, the cable cane and the shaft. And, the warranty on one side and over here it has the specs and this cable cane when you open it up let's get it open set that down don't want that to blow away when you open this thing up, the lash from here to here is about 27 inches and it's about 37 inches overall length. This weighs about 13 and a half ounces and altogether it weighs with the shaft about 20, let's see, 23 and a half ounces. So it's pretty lightweight and has a really nice aluminum shaft which can also double in emergency as a weapon too for self-defense. So it's got two little o-rings here that help seal it inside the shaft and it goes in there like that and it goes in it goes past that o-ring, past that o-ring and snugs down. So now you can use it to walk with. And it's very, I'm telling you, it's very, very lightweight. Very easy to move. Um, I really like that part of it. It's really, like I mentioned, really lightweight and easy to maneuver. It's got a really good grip on the ground. That rubber ferrule here on the bottom gives a good grip and it lasts a long time. And my experience on the heavy duty sword canes and the heavy duty cane, these ferrules just last forever. They seldom need to be replaced. And they're good on lots of surfaces, so I really enjoy that about them. Now, when I showed you this cable cane earlier, I talked about the O-rings and the handles and stuff, and how fast, this thing is pretty fast to draw. It's in there snug, you know, it's not loose, it doesn't rattle around, you know, it doesn't move, it's, it's in there pretty snugly. But, um, before I, talk show any striking or anything with this let's talk about the force continuum with this thing so this was designed to be a less than lethal self-defense item that means that the intention of this device is not to cause lethal wounds and you can almost eliminate any chance of a lethal injury if you don't strike your attacker in the head or the neck. I would avoid the neck and the head unless you're in actual fear of your life and think you're going to be killed or seriously bodily injured. If someone is beating you up, you can use this to dissuade them to, to, from their activity, that, that felonious assault, and drive them off by inflicting pain. And um, you may leave welts and bruises with this. You may actually cut their, their skin open, but it's very, very unlikely that you'll deliver a terminal blow with this. So this is fairly low on the force continuum. I would say it's down there with the policeman's baton, somewhere right in there. So it's, it's a step up from fists, but it's right about, I'd say, where a baton is, or an expanding baton, or even pepper spray. So you know I'm a big believer in pepper spray and this is just another tool in your toolbox. So you have this steel cable whip on this shaft at your immediate disposal and you can pull it out very quickly. So let's go over here where the camera can see how quickly you can pull that thing out. So that wasn't really a strike, but with practice it could be. I was just showing 
how fast that you can get that out into action, okay? Now, when you pull it in, in emergency sometimes, you're not gonna have maybe the very ideal grip. I hit it here. I would try to get down on the handle like this. See there? That's a much better grip. And it's my suggestion, once you pull this out, you immediately put it into use. You don't, you don't threaten people with it, because we're not supposed to be threatening people. Um, you, you pull this out when you're being attacked. When you're being attacked, I say you continuously whip your attacker with this until he breaks off his attack and allows you to safely leave. Or well, whenever you can safely leave, you should. Um, like I always say, no one is going to take out an ad in the New York Times and say, Lynn Thompson drove off four attackers with his cable cane. That's not going to happen. There's no, there's no rewards that you're going to get for hitting people with this thing. So you do this at the last resort. Um, yes, you can even uh, sometimes defend yourself with your hands and feet first before you pull this out, but then you'd have to discard this and they could pick it up and they could take it. So sometimes that's not an option either when you're carrying this whip, but you, you don't have to beat people to death with it either, so to speak. Uh, again, I'll, I'll say that this is a, a, a less than lethal device. So what I'm trying to say is you want to use uh, mercy and you want to use good judgment and you want to keep this in the force continuum. So now I'm going to show a little bit what it can do. So I've got a single ply cardboard target here. Let's call him Bad Bob. And Bad Bob's menacing with that bottle. And I've got a chair and a table behind me, another table there. There's nowhere quickly I can go to. So I let Bob have, Bob have it just like that. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't have any skin on my body, body that's as tough as cardboard. Do any of you think you have skin as tough as cardboard? I don't think so. And that just ripped that jagged, look at this, jagged, come over here, let's see this. That jagged rip all the way through that cardboard. That would not feel good. The main long suit of this cable cane is pain compliance. It hurts. It really hurts. It'll light you up like you're on fire when you get hit by it. But it's very unlikely to break bones and to do any serious or permanent damage other than leaving welts and maybe superficial cuts on your attacker. But it's gonna hurt. It's gonna make him say, ah, oh, I don't wanna be here. I think I'll move to the next zip code. <laughs> I'm out of here. I don't, no longer am interested in attacking Mr. Thompson with this bottle. I'm out of here. So that's just one quick illustration of this. You can draw it very quickly. And you notice when I draw it, drew it, I cocked it. Because from here, I don't have much momentum. But from here, I got that tremendous lash coming down. So I got a lot of momentum that way, a lot of power. You could use it defensively out of the shaft, but I can say I don't have enough time and grade myself personally to make that really effective stroke. But if you pull it out and you cock it, now you can go. And you're a real menace, believe me. So now we'll imagine I'm out minding my own business and I get menaced by Big John here and Big John's got a heavy sledgehammer. And I know from experience, he can take that head, uh, sledgehammer and punch me this way with it, or punch me this way with it. But it, to get a big swing, he's gonna have to step and load it somehow, somehow. So I might be able to beat him in time with my cable whip, let's see. I hit this paper twice pretty good with the cable whip and it really didn't do any damage. This is the advantage of the cable whip. It inflicts pain, it inflicts um, extreme discomfort. It's gonna make you wanna 
leave the county when you get hit by it, but there's not enough mass in this whip to break this paver. I'm gonna give it one more good shot and see if I can do it. Well, I kind of see where I, I think I hit in here, right? You did. I can kind of see where the, the lash struck, but really no damage. So if you're made out of concrete, you can probably resist the cable cane. But if you're flesh and blood like me, uh, I think that pain will be so intense, you're not gonna wanna continue your assault. Again, well, it fell apart when I picked it up. So I gotta say that was pretty successful. I went through basically that cantaloupe with one stroke. This just illustrates the power of this flash. You know, it does, you come in here and see where that lash hit. See the imprints there? But that would have been enormously painful, but not done, very unlikely to do any permanent damage. Especially when you strike the outside of the arms and the outside of the legs, across the hips, across the back. Um, very unlikely to break major bones, but it's gonna hurt like fury. I don't know any of you that has flesh as strong as a cantaloupe. Um, yeah, that's impressive. Impressive force from this light 13 ounce whip. That sure was a lot of fun. Uh, busting beer cans is always explosive. I'd hope to get through three, but it wasn't my day today. But I'll keep trying. Maybe I'll get up to six as I get more familiar with this awesome table 